So the approach that's used by all of the checklists, no matter which study design, is that the questions in the tools will help you consider the validity of the study, the results of the study, and importantly, how useful those results are going to be for you and your um, clinical practice. And you will systematically address the validity, the results and the usefulness of results by working through the questions on the checklists. The first questions on each of the checklists is a screening question. And these will help you decide whether it's worth continuing to do a deta detailed appraisal of the study or whether you should just stop there and not waste any more time. And then the detailed questions are then about the specific methodological aspects of the paper that are important and these will obviously be different for the different study designs. So we're now going to use the CASP checklist for randomised control trials and work through the checklist and that will give you an idea of the type of questions involved and how these questions can be applied to a scientific paper. But first, just a brief description of what a randomised control trial is. And the main features of these are that participants are randomly allocated to either receive a treatment or to have a control treatment. And an example of this would be a study that would evaluate the effectiveness of drinking fluoridated milk by school children and to look at whether it was effective at reducing the levels of dental caries. So a, a randomised controlled trial of this kind would involve randomly allocating children in schools to either have fluoridated milk or ordinary milk. And those two groups would be examined at the baseline to look at their levels of dental decay. And they would be followed over a certain time period during which they would either have the treatment, the intervention, or they would be a control group. And at the end of the study period, they would be examined again to see whether the dental caries levels were similar in the groups or whether they were different. And by doing that, you would be able to assess how effective that fluoridated milk was in the intervention group. So a randomised control trial is a study design that's used to evaluate the effectiveness of an intervention. The screening questions that are used in the checklist for randomised control trials start with question one, which is, did the study ask clearly focused question? So when you were reading the paper, did you understand what the trial was aiming to do? And the second question is, do you think it really was a randomised control trial based on your knowledge of what a randomised control trial is? And was it appropriate to use a randomised control trial to answer the study question? So we need to look at the paper to see whether the trial um, was randomised and controlled, whether it was aiming to evaluate the effectiveness of an intervention and whether that aim was clearly written and obvious from reading the paper. And if the answer to those two screening questions is yes, then you will move on to the detailed questions, which is question three onwards.